Hey guys, Ryu here with none of it for Blender. So we're gonna be talking about how to run bevels through very difficult geo. So let's create a quad sphere with machine tools. You need to have machine tools for this to uh, to be visible in the Shift A menu. We're going to click on that sphere control 2 to add subdivision control A and visual to mesh, which will create a really dense mesh. Okay. Now we're gonna run um, a circle cut through it with uh, box cutter. So let's go to circle. And let's cut it through. I can see I have 62 verts in here, which is quite dense. I'm gonna hold shift and click. And now I'm gonna add a loop here in the middle, okay, to, to this cutter, right? So go to the cutter, go to edge mode, control R and add a loop, and slide it up all the way here, very close, okay? So I wanna create, shift to remove cutter. I wanna create very clean shading inside and outside. So you can see the shading is perfect. But when I'm going to try to add a bevel modifier, I'm going to run into problems. And the bigger the bevel modifier is going to be, the big, you know, the more problems I'm going to have. And the reason for it basically is that uh, if I apply the boolean, so control click on sharpen and go to edit mode, you can see that, uh, you know, the problem is that the, the geometry here is just basically fucked. Okay, so we need to do a lot of cleaning. Use maybe boolean cleanup with a mesh machine or maybe use offset cut with mesh machine, etc. You could do this. But I want to show you a quick array, okay? So now we're going to be using Ketops for this one. Um, and there's a free version of Ketops which you can get on Cheap Walter's store. Uh, so if you don't have Ketops Pro, you can get free version first and play with it, see how it works. It's a fantastic add-on, so I really recommend you highly to get the Pro version. I'm going to be talking about Ketops environments in the upcoming days. We're going to be talking about Ketops. We're going to be talking about um, Design Magic, which is a new add-on. And I'll show you some really cool trick with it. But in this video, I want to show you how to do this with Ketops Mats. Okay. So now there is a pack for Ketops called the Definitely EV Material. It's a paid pack and it's a fantastic pack, which um, offers you a lot of mats. So if I go to Ketops here, you can see that uh, if I go to mats, all these mats here are um, coming with this, the uh, CW marked, yeah? And they come in with the uh, definitely EV material pack, which is fantastic. But the free version of Kitops offers you a free pack of sample mats, which are here, okay? KO Emissive, KO Metal, KO Plastic, and KO Special mats. Now, these mats come with a bevel, a note added to it, and you can just simply run a bevel in situations like this. So let me show you how it works, okay? I'm gonna press on this metal here and select this object and add material, and we're done. And if I'm gonna go to uh, look that, you can see the mat was added to the scene. Now the bevel is not being visible because that bevel will only work in cycles, okay? So if I go to cycles and let me just uh, upload some HDRI to it, so very quickly, boom. And if I zoom in, right, and I'm gonna click on the sphere, go back here to um, to object, and zoom on the node setup. You can see that, that we have a bevel modifier here ready to go. And all you need to do is hold shift and simply increase your radius to add the bevel, right, of the size that you want. You can change the resolution, so samples to make it a bit more, you know, more defined. So this is a very quick way of adding a bevel to surfaces where it would take ages to clean, and if you have a lot of bullions like this, you know, you would need to clean every single one of them, which is just basically pointless, especially if you're creating something like a concept design, okay? So let's say you have a sub D model running and you want to create some bulls on it, and then you want to have a, you know, bevel going through these bulls. That's the best way to do it because you can combine very easily, you know, sub D modeling with bullion workflow and just simply render it in cycles. Now, especially with the uh, the noiser in compositor, I have a separate video on this one. Um, you can render cycles in high resolution, you know, in seconds or minutes, whatever. There you go, guys. That's my tip on how to run bevels through very difficult um, geometry. Download Kitops and play with it. It's a fantastic add-on. Like I said, I'm going to be creating more videos on Kitops environment this week. I had a really long chat with Chip Walters, who kindly, you know, took some time and explained me all the details. I was asking a lot of questions. So I'm really grateful for his patience. And I actually learned a lot. So hopefully I'm going to be able to sell you some, uh, not just facts, but also interesting tips and tricks on how to use these add-ons add and, you know, get the most out of them. So links to a cheap Walter store in the video description. So if you want to, you know, explore them, go ahead. Thanks for watching. See you soon.